here are four baby chicks who are going farm in Iowa to two boys named Roger and Gerald in Los Angeles. Young chicks are very delicate, so they have to make the trip as fast as possible. They're going air parcel post. The plane they travel in takes only a few hours to get to Los Angeles. The pilot can see the Los Angeles airport miles before he gets to it. The big plane starts coming down for a landing four or five miles before it reaches the landing strip. The co-pilot talks by radio to the control tower at the airport and they tell him that it is all right to land. The big airliner slows up a little in the air. But even after it touches ground, it still travels pretty fast for a while. It needs lots of room to land in. Here are Roger and Gerald. They know their chicks are coming by air, and they'd like to take them home without waiting for them to be delivered through the mail. The pilot steers the big plane into its parking place as easily as if it were an automobile. Roger and Gerald see the little mail truck go out, and they know that in a moment their chicks are going to be unloaded from the plane. They watch the clerk as he takes the mail from the inside of the plane. As a very special favor, the superintendent of the airport post office lets Roger and Gerald come in to see if they can find their chicks. They're interested in seeing the bags being unlocked and watching the clerk sort the mail. But pretty soon, they decide to go looking for their chicks. This is where mail is weighed before it is put on another airplane to go to the main post office. The superintendent tells them he has found their chicks. Of course, Roger and Gerald would like to take them home now, but that's against the law. The post office men guard all mail carefully until they deliver it to the place it is addressed to. The superintendent tells them their chicks are going to the main post office in the center of the city in another airplane. And here it is, flying across the airport to pick up the mail. It is called a helicopter. A helicopter has its wings on top, and they move around like a big propeller. The wings on a helicopter are called a rotor. The helicopter is the only airplane whose wings can move without the rest of the plane moving. When the pilot wants his helicopter to go up, he moves the wings so that the front edges are raised. When the pilot wants his helicopter to go down, he moves the wings so that the front edges are lowered. This picture will help show you why this makes the helicopter go up or down. The driver of this car is going about 30 or 40 miles an hour. When the driver moves the thumb side of this hand up, the air pushes his whole hand up. When the driver moves the thumb side of his hand down, the air pushes his whole hand down. The pilot in the helicopter raises the front edge of the wings and his helicopter goes up. By tilting the whole rotor forward, the plane goes forward through the air. 
It can go backwards or sideways by tilting the rotor toward the back or side. Big airplanes are made to turn to the right or left by means of a rudder. A helicopter is made to turn right or left by a propeller attached to the side of its tail. Now the men are ready to load the mail on the helicopter. Roger is very interested in the inside of the helicopter, but the pilot hasn't any time for visiting. He has to make a record of how much the load weighs, and he keeps talking to the control tower by radio so he will know when to take off. The boys watch while the helicopter gets ready to go to the main post office. The pilot raises the front edges of the wings. He speeds them up and the plane goes almost straight into the air. Gerald and Roger know that their chicks will get to the city long before they do. The helicopter pilot uses the streets of the city to know where he is. He uses the streets almost as if he were driving a truck. Although the pilot is 2,000 feet in the air, he can recognize streets that just look like a big checkerboard to us. The pilot knows his next landing field is not far ahead. He can't really see it, but he knows where it is. It's a tiny rooftop up there among the tall buildings in the center of the city. All during his flight, the pilot talks to the airport by radio, telling them just where he is. It takes 12 minutes to travel the eight miles from the airport to the post office. Now the pilot is getting ready to land. He checks his instrument panel. It tells him many things, such as how high he is and how fast he's going. A helicopter heads into the wind to land just as other airplanes do. When you compare the size of this roof where the helicopter will land with the size of the airport a big airplane lands on, you realize that a helicopter is a very special kind of airplane. Now the pilot is landing. All the helicopter needs to land is room for its big revolving wings. This is what the pilot sees when he lands. The post office clerks unload the incoming mail and others will bring a load for the helicopter to take back to the airport. Roger and Gerald wouldn't be worried if they knew how interested this clerk was in their pets. When the helicopter is ready to go back to the field, the pilot has to be sure that his load is well balanced, because if there's anything wrong, there'll be no room to land in the city streets. So he lifts his plane into the air, two or three feet, 
and moves it backward to get the feel of it. Then he takes off and goes back to the field. From the big post office downtown, the chicks are delivered to Roger and Gerald's house. 